Yeah, hi, it's Keith. Um, I'm in Ch well, our R&D facility. Um, look at the weather, it's beautiful today. It's a really nice day. Makes a change, it always rains everywhere I've been, come, been anyway. Look at this, 12 kilowatt. This is our new 12 kilowatt three phase inverter. It is one nice piece of kit. It's the series, series two, second generation. Um, plug and play, everything is simple, plug and play. So this inverter at the moment, it's actually wired up. We've been analyzing and look at the temperature rise. It's actually running really, really cold. It's running stone cold. Look at the figures, look at the figures on the screen here. You see here, top corner, 11.94, almost 12 kilowatt. This unit is outputting at 12 kilowatts. Look at the other figures here. You see the voltages here, 230, 230, 230. These are the phase voltages. So they are phase L1, L2, L3 to neutral. They're the phase voltages, not shown cross phase. 50 hertz. Interestingly, if you look at the small numbers here, look at the, the bottom right hand figure, and here the other uh, slightly across, you'll see a figure uh, 8.93, 8.99. They are the MPBTs. Both MPBTs, there's two MPBTs in this unit, both are running at 9,000 watts each. And in fact, you look at the current, it's almost 28 amps, 27.42, slight fluctuation, but they're running at 28 amps. This thing is handling two channels, 28 amps each, at almost 18 kilowatts of MPPT, processing it, running stone cold, absolutely cold. Behind me, we've got a grid, we've got a grid emulator here, which is obviously emulating the grid. Behind me is we've got the solar PV emulator. So we've got two of these and these are operating for each of the channels. This thing is running very, very well. You can see the figures, it's absolutely running flat out, yet it's cold. One of the nice things about the second generation inver inverters, something, these are plug and play. Look at this, you see here, your, your grid, your load, simple plug and play. Simple plug it in, it's very, very, very easy to use. You don't need to open this up. This beast is completely hermetically sealed. You never need to open it up. If you have to do it for the install, it is simple. Plug, play, install, job. We put two, two lots of um, battery channels. There's two battery channels here because obviously you try to get the, the amount of power this thing is handling. So you can see the thing is really running flat out. And of course, look at the UI. It's got the, the, the new SunSync UI. It is so, it is so, so nice. You, the, the, we have all of the, the flow, everything is functioning exactly the same as all of our new second generation UI. So it also operates exactly the same way. If you're used to using SunSync second generation, any of the second generation product, this is nice. This is the 12 kilowatt, three phase. It's just going through the testing now. And you see here, there's a whole load of cables. These are used using Anti negative temperature coefficient thermistors. These are actually used for monitoring the temperature of all the internal components. Make sure, and this thing is running absolutely stone cold. When an inverter runs hot, it, it means the efficiency is not good and it reduces its life. When the thing is running cold or cool, uh, and this is why it's important to have cooling fans. You know, some people say, oh, but we don't want cooling fans because they make noise. Well, sometimes, if you have cooling fans that are not always operating, but come with the need to operate, it's better to have them and not have them. It's like some people have cars. They say, well, we don't need a spare wheel with our car because uh, we, 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 if, if, if you get a puncher, you can send somebody up and they'll replace it for you. Or we've got some aerosol can. It's better to have it. It's better to have the fan, even if you're not being used, than not have the fan. So it's, it, it's like, you know, the, these things are better, but the fans run very, very cool. And by having a simple cooling system like the, 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 the forced air fans, which don't run all the time, they run really, really quiet. But having that feature is a major plus feature. Full LCD plus feature, hematically sealed plus feature. This is a nice piece of kit. And honestly, almost zero change over time. Um, you know, people keep telling me, oh yeah, but this is the best, this is the best. Well, in my opinion, in my opinion, <laughs> I'm sorry. And people say, oh, I'm biased. But I tell you what, this product, this is the best three-phase inverter on the market. No doubt, this is the best. And listen, uh, thanks for following this. It's a SunSync product. We're going to hit it. You're going to love it. The simplicity to install. Simple plug, plug, plug. And you know what? You don't need a gateway. You don't need a gateway. It's built in. There's no separate gateway. 
You don't need internet to program it. You can program it without internet. No need internet, no need gateway, no need anything. It's simple, simple, simple. It doesn't have to, as somebody put on one of the things, it doesn't have to report to a mothership to operate. It will function on the Sunsync AI platform if you want to. If you don't want to, it doesn't have to. It fully functions independently. It's low voltage, it's simple, it's safe. Anyway, enough of me rambling. I'm excited. It's really great. And the developments are coming on thick and fast from here. Thanks for following us.